Well, hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a new week. Well, it's not new, it started last night, but whatever, you get the point. So, I over and parked last night, and the most awful thing happened to me. It rained. Probably couldn't see it that good. So now we got a muddy mess in front of us. I'm gonna back up a little bit to get out of here. But here we are. I'm going to ease down the road here. I'm gonna try to pick up these four machines. It's still trying to rain, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what kind of loading process they've got, and I'll figure something out. Maybe get you guys set up where you can kind of watch some some action there. So. But yeah, just stick around. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Uh, we look forward to having you guys here every day. Looking forward to giving something away at 500. I'm not telling you what it is. I'm not telling. I'm not saying a word. Not yet. Nope. But you get your friends and neighbors there, you'll see what it is. So it'll be a random drawing, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, just hang around. We're gonna set sail for California here a little bit. All right, guys, that's it for um, almost 12,000 on the first one. I can't get it in picture. Those are almost 9,000. Front two go to uh, San Leandro. Uh, that one goes to Stockton, and that one goes to uh, that one above, above, uh, yeah, above, uh, Sacramento, so I didn't do any footage because it was real fast paced and it's raining, so I'll check back in you guys here in just a bit.
Okay, guys. I'm stuffed now. I needed fuel, so I, well, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and stop there. I was going to stop and get it down there at um, Fancy Gap, but if you're going north on 77, that loves is always a pain in the hind end when you come back out. If you're going north, because you got to climb a mountain. But I had enough fuel, I done some figuring, had enough fuel to make it to here, um, just below Glade Springs, Virginia. So, I got my fuel, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and take my, you know, do my 30 minute break deal. And I'm going to tell you right, what's, what's the truth now, buddy. I went back to eating. I've got chicken, rice, greens, green beans, that sort of thing is what I'm eating. And I eat eight ounces of chicken a meal. And, man, eight ounces of chicken, a half a cup of rice, and a can of spinach, and I'm about to explode. I, but I will tell you, this morning I, I do egg whites and um, put some ham in it, and put some cheese on a tortilla shell for the morning and I do a cup of egg whites and I've had more energy today I felt I felt better uh, but it, it's a process I'll feel a whole lot better in the next few days uh, but I can already tell a difference in the way I feel so I'm gonna take off now got 30 minute break in like I said um, I'm gonna take off and I'm going to head west. Um, I'm gonna try to shut down somewhere around 10 ish, maybe. Um, see if we can't get it moved where I'm running a little bit earlier. Uh, but then, try to get in a quick workout tonight. I got, like I said, I got my workout stuff. Um, do that and then, uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys when I get stopped there, figure out where we're going. So, just hang around, enjoy the view.
Okie dokie. I'm done. Finished. Finished day. Part. Got my brake set. Whatever you'll call it. I did. I, was, I stopped at the 101. I had uh, right at an hour left I can drive. But. Pretty much west of here. There's not. This time of night. There's not a whole lot of parking. I mean it's. 10 o'clock out here. It's just easier. This is a, a little. It's an old truck stop. I can remember when the 101 Travel Plaza was a big deal. It burnt down and they rebuilt it. Uh, it's. Excuse me. It's. It's not really much to write home about. It used to be. I have. I think it used to have an awesome restaurant in it. The 126 up there, the North 40, it's got an awesome restaurant in it. Um, but I like that. You can pretty much always guarantee a parking spot here. And uh, old dirt lot. So if you've washed your truck, I don't recommend coming. I didn't get my normal parking spot. I like parking over there. Right up there. Along it. that side. But I didn't get here in time, so we're back here on the back row where Nathan likes to always go. So, but yeah, we got parked. Um, I've still got 2,250 miles to go. I had a pretty good day today. Um, what did we end up doing? This, I was thinking about that earlier. Six hundred and fifty miles. Um, ain't bad. Like I said I had another hour, but um, I could have went down to the thirty-five. There's a little shell truck stop there. But it used to you could always find parking there, but people kinda that's the last thing before you get into Memphis. I could have went down to forty two and parked on the shoulder. Oh well, I didn't think about that. It's, it's been a while since I've run this section of 40. I was trying to think, if I ain't mistaken, the last time I run this part of 40 was back, you guys can go back and find it in the videos when I brought the, uh, I guess it's the second load of haul here. I ain't mistaken, it was, uh, yeah, the second load of haul where I picked up the Kubota crates and took it back down to Georgia. Uh, I believe that's the last time I've run this section of 40. I've always come down through Nashville or went up through Nashville going up to 70 or 80 or that you know that sort of stuff but I don't we don't run much through Memphis too awful much but uh, I was thinking of that whenever, after I got on the west side of Nashville so I had forgot about that one down there it's a, the 40 I think it's the 42 there's a pilot down there. You don't, you, it's hard to park there in the middle of the day. But there's an exit there. And I always, I don't like parking on ramps. Uh, but if I can, if that's the last effort that I can have, I will go to the on ramp. Because um, I've watched cars go off the exit ramps and it's like they're still trying to, to break world records of how fast they can stop in a short distance so there's an exit down there and I, actually I can't remember which one it is right off the top of my head um, but I could have went down there but ah, it's all good so we got that done I am going to go back here 
I'm going to pull. I, I think I've got a. A. a uh, I guess you could call it a system. A schedule. Figured out. Uh, of about how I can do this working out and still give you guys content. And I think I'm going because I do, I take a pre workout or I drink a pre workout. And you're theoretically, you're supposed to work or wait 30 ish minutes after you drink it before you start your workout. It helps your muscles do all the right firing and it to where it uses the right stuff. Um, but steering wheel bottom is not straight. Here we go with OCD stuff again. But I think I can go back here, mix my drink up, my pre-workout drink it, and while I'm waiting, I think I can take and pull the stuff off the cameras and get it into the program that I edit with and allow because once you do that it has to process in the editor and then you can go to editing you can do it without it processed but it's so much harder so I think I can do all that and let it get all processed while I'm working out um, let it be processed and then when I get done working out while I'm fixing my food um, I can be editing while I'm eating and then do the export and then start the upload so we'll see how it works who knows but oh and another update on the TV stand works fantabulous except the little hole that I made you can't see it down here the little hole that I made to put the PlayStation in yeah, Nathan didn't figure just exactly right on that. He wasn't thinking. He was trying to use as little space as possible. And when he built it, he built it the exact same width as the PlayStation. So we're not going to put it in there just yet. I'll put it up on top for now until I get back home for, during Christmas time. And I'll make some modifications and we'll make it work. Put some shims or something in there and just... Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. So, but yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Can't tell you guys that enough. I really do appreciate the support. Right when I think it ain't working, the subscribers start going up again. Comments are being made on videos from way back when, and I know that people are watching. So, I appreciate that, and it just it drives me to keep going. So, um, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so that you get notified when I do upload videos. Try to do it every day. You guys know the routine. Uh, like the video, share the video, share the channel, you know, spread the word. I've told you and told you, 500 subscribers, we're gonna give something away to a random winner. So, can't do it till we get there though. So, but, other than that, guys, I got nothing else today. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'll figure out tonight maybe how far we're going to try to make it. So, but guys, make sure you come back tomorrow. And um, the last mile was the hardest. And make sure you keep your shiny side up. Be cool on your stool now. We'll catch you all tomorrow.